Hey Arthur, I'm here in Galway Bay. Just wanted to give you a um, first-hand look at what things look like around here. I'm gonna look down the end of the street. If you look to the end of the street, that is US-1. That's the main overseas highway that runs through the Keys. And we'll just take a quick look around the neighborhood here. So this is the A and the B lots. These are much larger lots than what you see on the other side of this neighborhood. This was the the mobile home side. The other side apparently used to be an RV park, although over time people just put permanent trailers in. Um, but there's a lot more space over here. And I just met a really nice neighbor across the street who happens to be from New Jersey. Um, so this is unit B7. So you can see there's a um, storage shed right here in the front has some uh, straps that look like they're strapping it down to a concrete pad. And the unit itself um, was originally a single wide trailer that was added onto. And I'm just gonna walk around the property here. So there's a wood deck. Um, unfortunately, I can't take it inside right now because I don't have the keys to the unit, but I just wanted to at least get a look at the community for you from the outside. And Obviously, you'd want to have it inspected, but the um, the deck actually looks to be in pretty good condition. And it is all screened in, which is really nice. I've got a sliding glass door and some windows over here. And then you can see the addition that was put on is supported by concrete block. There's a little bit of damage to the the wood paneling out here. You can see um, there's probably a little bit of water damage or something there, but overall it looks to be in fairly good condition. You can see there's a wall air conditioning unit there, and then it attaches on to the original trailer. This is the back side of the unit and it backs up to this road here where the B and C homes are. Just take a quick peek around here. You can see the next door neighbor does have a large boat um, parked back here so there would be space um, behind this, this home to park a boat as well if you wanted to. And as we come around the other side, You can see there is a, uh, some fencing in between the two homes. Looks fairly original on the outside here. Um, but there is a split mini air conditioning unit out here, which is a great thing to have down here in the Keys. Let's take a quick peek underneath the trailer here. Not a whole lot that you can really visibly see. And this is advertised as a little bit of a fixer-upper. You can see that there's some wood outside here that would need replacement. But overall, it's actually a, a pretty good sized lot that this unit is located on and it just needs some updating and some landscaping work. Now I also saw that the unit right next door, this is B8, has a for sale by owner sign on it. So I will see if I can get the contact information from there. Um, this one actually sits up a little bit higher off the ground than the other one. I'm seeing a lot of for sale signs in the neighborhood. Um, there's, there are definitely are some listed on the MLS and then I think that there's also quite a few that are for sale by owner as well. So if you decide to come down, I think that there would be a lot of things to show you um, that you would have to choose from. So this one has a large deck on the side. And another storage shed. some panel shutters on the windows.
Okay, we're gonna look around the other side of the B8 unit. So you can see there is a uh, air conditioning unit out here. It's raised up, um, which is great to keep it off the ground in case of flood. And over here on this side are the stairs to up to the patio. Also a good amount of parking space in the front of this unit as well as in the back. So that gives you a little taste of what Galway Bay looks like. Um, the folks that I talked to seem to um, really like it here. Got good feedback. And uh, although I know we've had trouble getting a hold of Elaine at the management office, um, they said that she is on site and um, is generally helpful once you're down here. So this is the E area on the left and F on the right. This is located right here, as well as a recreation home, and there's a, a common area tiki hut, and it also looks like some laundry facilities. 